Welcome to this floor plan tutorial with Revit 2023. In this video, we will use Revit to directly create floor plans. There won't be a focus on creating a model for elevation rendering or 3D views, but uh, quickly produce a floor plan and uh, we created the floor plan template that you can use to follow along with this tutorial just check the links in the description below and the templates are available both in metric and imperial and also there is other uh, useful links uh, that you can complete the project uh, if you want to produce the floor plan in this exercise let's start with click on new to create model click browse to pick a custom template in this case we are using the template we're providing and you can find the links for these templates below in this description so you will arrive to welcome page in the project browser in uh, views floor plan double click on level one in this view, you're going to see all the components that are included in the template. Most of these families are only two dimensionals. So if you need to create 3D views, consider using 3D families instead. You need to make sure that the levels are set up correctly. Go to the South Elevation view and uh, you can select a level and adjust the value if you wish. For now, we will keep it like this with three meters. Another important thing when starting a project is to locate the internal origin and place the model accordingly. In this view, the internal origin is represented by the arrow symbol over here. If you can't locate it in your view, open the visibility graphics menu by going to the view tab or by using shortcut VG. You scroll down to the site and expand the menu. Make sure the internal origin box is checked. Now we are ready to create walls. Go to the architecture tab and select the wall tool or use shortcut WA. In the type selector, pick the correct wall types. So in this case, we use the generic 300 millimeters type. You can see that this wall goes from level one up to level two. So now click on the center of the internal origin to create the first wall. Click again to complete the segment and press escape once to break the chain wall creation and create another wall at the corner press escape twice to exit the wall creation mode there are multiple ways to create a layout an interesting way to do it is to quickly create a layout using lines as references so before creating the walls go to the annotate tab and select the details lines tool or use shortcut DL. Select the correct line type. In this case, we use a red line to easily differentiate between model elements and lines. So click once to start the line position. The cursor in the correct direction and type in the dimension value. Complete the layout of the house using lines. Now we will explore some ways to modify existing elements when a wall is selected. So you can drag the dot to adjust the boundaries, but my favorite tool is by far a line. Uh, you will find it in the modify tab, but you should use a shortcut AL, type in AL. So select the reference line then click the line to adjust use it on this wall to adjust the boundaries and um, another useful tool is called create similar uh, which uh, you can use by using shortcut cs this will create another elements using uh, the same type category as the selected one 
We use it to quickly create a bunch of other walls. When the walls are created, we use the align tools to adjust their position to match the red lines layout. You can use a similar technique to create walls for the garage. Now select the trim tools to adjust these two walls. Uh, use shortcut TR, then click on the two walls segments to extend or trim. Repeat this technique to complete the layout. Now let's create the interior walls layout. This time we will use another way to do it. So pick the interior wall types. Uh, from the generic walls, I'm choosing 100 mm to create interior layout. To adjust the wall position, use these temporary dimensions. So when the wall is selected, you will see these small blue dimensions around it. Change the dimension value to adjust the wall position. Also, you can drag the small blue dots to modify the witness lines of the dimension. So use this technique to complete the layout. Now we are done with walls, so uh, it's time to create doors. You will find them in the architecture tab or by using shortcut DR. Select the simple door type, simply click on the wall to create the door. And click on the blue arrows to flip the door around. You can also press spacebar to flip. As you see, these doors are too small, so you need to create a new type. Select one of the door and click on edit type and click on duplicate, then type in the values you want to use. Then adjust the width of the door and click on OK. The door will become larger. To quickly assign this new type uh, to the existing doors, use the match time properties tool by using shortcut MA. Click once on the reference doors, then click on the doors to adjust. And you can use the temporary dimensions, which is the in this position. So keep creating doors using the other families to complete the layout. Now it's time to create windows. The tool is located in the architecture tab or by using shortcut WM. The process is similar to creating doors. So pick the correct type before creating each window. There is a window type missing, so you can duplicate an existing one and set new dimension. Make adjustments to the window's position using the align tools is the best way to do it. So you can still see the red line and uh, you should delete them, make a cross selection in the bottom right of the screen. You will find the filter tool, uh, deactivate all categories except the red lines. So click on OK and delete. Now let's create components in the plan. So you can copy and paste components from the library below. In the view, another great tool to use is uh, create similar or you can select the components and use shortcut CS. Your cursor will show a preview of the elements 
and you can press spacebar to flip the components. For some elements, you will see blue arrows. You can use to adjust the dimensions. We use this technique to create a little table in the living room. And the align tool can be very helpful to position elements in an accurate way. Some components will have to be hosted on walls. For example, the toilet family has to be located on a wall. Let's fast forward a little bit while all the components are being placed. Now you need to create the kitchen countertops. So for this part, we will be using model lines. You will find this tool in the architecture tab or by using shortcut LI. Select the line type that in this case I will use a thin line 0.1 millimeters that this line is to represent the countertop. Now let's create a kitchen island with using the offset tool and you can use shortcut OF. Then set the value in the options bar, click on the line to create the offset. Repeat the same process to complete the island. Switch the line type to a dash type. In this case, we use the overhead type. Now let's create a floor. The tool is located in the architecture tab. Select the correct type, then adjust the purple boundaries and remove the location for the stairs from the boundaries. To save some time, we use the split tool to cut these boundary lines into segments. So use shortcut SL to uh, split, then use the trim tool to join the lines together. Another useful tool in this situation is called thin lines. The tool is located in the view tab or use shortcut TL. The thickness of all lines will be reduced to a single pixel that this doesn't affect views when they are printed. This is useful when you have lines that are close together and uh, at the end click the green check to complete. Now it's time to create some stairs. Select the tool in the architecture tab and select the residential stairs type. Pay close attention to the properties that you will see. The stairs will be linking level one and level two together. You can also see how many uh, risers will be on the stairs. Each is the number to 16. In the options bar, Change the width to 915 and click once to start the stairs. Click again when you see 8 risers. Then move the cursor and create the second round. The landing will be uh, automatically created. Select one of the rounds and zoom in. Use the uh, move tool by using shortcut MV. Click on the end of the stringer, then click again to snap on the wall edge. Repeat the same process for the other rounds and uh, then click the green check to complete the process. 
Now I will show you a couple of tips to coordinate different levels together. Go to the level 2 floor plan view. You can only see the stairs. Activate the underlay of the view and set it to level 1. Level 1 will be visible in grey. If you create a new element in this view, it will display in black. Another useful tool are the reference planes. You can find it in the architecture tab. In this case, we create two reference planes where uh, we will finally set up a structural columns. So if you go to the level two view, uh, the planes uh, will also be visible. You can set the dimensions relying in relation to the planes. Let's back to uh, level one and create a ceramic floor pattern. Create a new floor and select the thin finished floor tag. Draw the boundaries and make sure to go around the walls and uh, countertops. In this case, we use uh, the pick lines tool. This will create boundaries based on existing lines and elements. Then use other tools like split, trim, and align to complete the boundaries. When you are done, click on the green check to complete. The pattern appears, but it should be in other direction. So use tab to select one of the pattern lines. Use shortcut RO to rotate the line. Type in a value of 19 degrees and press enter. You can also use a line on the pattern lines, which is the position. Another issue we're facing is that the uh, floor seems to be about some to the components like the sink and fridge. Simply select the elements and set the value of one to the elevation from uh, level parameter in the instance properties. If you eventually upgrade the 2D components to 3D families, this issue will be avoided entirely. Now we are going to annotate the drawing. First, we will create tags Go to the Anathea tab and select tag by category or use shortcut TG. In the options bar, deactivate the leader option. Click on each door and each window. The tag will indicate the width of the door. For windows, it indicates the width and the height. The text appear to be a little bit big, so switch the scale of the view. Create a custom scale of 1 to 75. The tags now appear a little bit smaller. And you can set the tags to vertical if you wish. Now let's add some dimensions. Go to Anotate tab and select the Align Dimensions tool or use the shortcut DI. You can use tab to call among different options when multiple elements are close together. To complete the plan, let's add a dark wall pattern. Go to the Visibility Graphic menu located in the View tab or by using shortcut VG. Scroll down to walls, category, and then click on the cut pattern. Set the solid fill to the background. Set the dark gray color and click on OK. As you can see, all walls show a dark gray pattern. The floor plan is complete. So, this is the end of this tutorial. In upcoming videos, I will create 10 floor plans as a challenge. So please subscribe to our channel to get new videos and updates every weekend.